Welcome to the fourth film in our Double Skin Facades series. In it, we look at the fixings used to attach facing skins and insulation to a load-bearing skin. The facing skin must stand on a flat surface upon which it can be built up layer by layer. It may sit on the foundations, which will have to be extended slightly for this purpose, and thus below the layer of the load-bearing skin. A more common method, however, is to fit stainless steel brackets to the load-bearing skin to which the facing skin is then attached. If the building is above a certain height, additional rows of brackets will have to be added to distribute the load of the facing skin over the load-bearing skin. Above a certain height, the thin facing skin becomes unstable, like a load-bearing wall with no transverse walls to reinforce it. The facing skin must therefore be secured to prevent it from collapsing. To do this, it is braced against the load-bearing skin with wall ties. Depending on where they are to be used, a certain number of ties will be required per square metre of facade surface. They are secured in the load-bearing skin and tied into the bed joints in the facing skin. The presence of insulation between the two skins means the wall ties are inserted into the load-bearing skin through the insulation. Plastic washers which fix the insulating panels mechanically to the load-bearing skin in addition to plate dowels at the panel joints are then placed over the ties. These plastic washers also perform another important function. They prevent the transmission of moisture by means of the adhesion and cohesion forces in water droplets from the facing skin along the wall tie to the insulation. Summary. The facing skin must stand on a flat surface either the foundations or stainless steel brackets onto which it can be built up layer by layer. The facing skin is then braced against the load-bearing skin and through the insulation by wall ties to provide stability. Plastic washers placed over the ties fix the insulating panels to the load-bearing skin as well as preventing the transmission of moisture from the facing skin to the insulation. Please take a look at the fifth film in our Double Skin Facades in which we discuss the factors that affect the appearance of a facing skin.